perhaps uh, fortunately for us, not all lipids are equal. Uh, some lipid types like uh, saturated fat and omega-6 uh, and unsaturated fat can cause uh, inflammation, can induce inflammation. Fortunately, omega-3 uh, fatty acids, which are mostly found in fish, obviously, uh, have been recently shown to act as anti-inflammatory agents. So if you can increase uh, omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, you have a very good possibility to reduce the triggering of inflammation, not only in adipose tissue, but probably also in liver and skeletal muscle. And we have recently found that this is probably achieved by favoring the, uh, produ the production of these very anti-inflammatory molecules known as the resolvents and protectants. And you can only see very high concentrations of those mediators or those molecules when you do have a, a high proportion of omega-3 uh, fatty acids in your cells, which means you also need to have those in your diet. If you achieve very high level of omega-3 fatty acids in your cells, you will produce these uh, protecting uh, factors and therefore you will block inflammation and again improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk for diabetes and its complications. Thank you.